Hello everyone, this is Vijay and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss some important questions of HCU entrance examinations. So before going to the today's session, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me in Telegram for more updates. Now, let's move into the today's session. Now see the first question. Here we have two statements, statement P and statement Q. See the statement P, G is a cyclic group and statement Q is mod G is prime. That means order of the group is prime. Here we have four options A, B, C. See the option A, P implies Q and Q does not implies P. B is Q implies P and P does not implies Q. Option C is P and Q are equivalent. Option D is none of these. Now see the solution. And Q implies P is always true. By known theorem, every group of prime order is cyclic. Manu theorem on the group theorem. Every group of prime order is cyclic. And then a group yoka order and the prime then the group is a cyclic group. Then the group is a cyclic group. Every group of prime order is cyclic. If order of any group is prime, then that group is cyclic. And then a group yoka order and the prime aite. A group emotion cyclic group. So Q is always implies P. What is Q? Q is what is Q? Mod G is prime. That means order of the group is prime. If order of the group is prime, then it is always cyclic group. So Q implies P is always true. See here, G is a cyclic group that does not imply mod G equals to P. P, what is P here? Prime number. So it need not be prime. If G is a cyclic group, then the order of the group is need not be prime. Because every group of prime order is cyclic. A group of order is prime, it is cyclic group. But Cyclic group is the prime order covers na house and lead. Every group of prime order is cyclic. Every group of prime order is cyclic. Then a group of order and the prime it is cyclic out on the but every cyclic group order is need not be prime. Every cyclic group order need not be prime. So a cyclic group of order and the prime avals na house and lead. But see here, see here, G equals Jadian is always cyclic group for every n. So, the group equal to one of these could not Jadian and these couldn't is Jadian and the other one is a cyclic group. It is always a cyclic group for every n. If I take Z4, if I take Z4, mod Z4 equals to 4. Because mod Z4 and Jadian and the cyclic group are there. But R of this group is not prime number. For example, n plus n is 4 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 so Jadian is always cyclic group for every n. So Z4 is also cyclic group. So what is the order of the Z4? Mod Z4 equals to 4. It is not a prime number. Order of the every cyclic group. Order of every cyclic group need not be prime. Order of every cyclic group need not be prime. So the so P does not implies Q. So P does not implies Q. Q implies P, but P does not implies Q. Q implies P means every group of prime order is cyclic. P does not implies Q. Q means Cyclic group order need not be prime. Cyclic group order need not be prime. The group yoka order prime is and cyclic house. But cyclic group yoka order is prime hours na house ram later. So option B is the correct one. Q the second question. The total number of positive divisors of 7777 is. Here we have four options A, B, C, D, 8, 7, 10, and 11. See, the number you can find out the positive divisors find out the So, first positive divisors find out the value prime factorization of this number. The divisors find out the value A number is not the find out the prime factorization first layer. So, n equals to p1 raised to alpha 1 into p2 raised to alpha 2 so on pk raised to alpha. Here p1, p2, so on pk are the prime numbers. So, you can divide the same value alpha 1 plus 1. So one alpha k plus one are the divisors of n. In a number of uh, divisors find out the first prime factorization ras in Tarvata. So power law on a value is plus one adjust what I need multiply say. So multiply just the value of no, the divisors of seven 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 out. So see here n equals to what is given seven thousand seven hundred and seventy seven. What do we write here? Seven into one thousand one hundred and eleven. So prime factorization seven into here one not one. 7 into 101 into 11. 7 into 101 into 11. So what is the power of 7? Yeah, 7 power is 1, 101 power is 1, 11 power 1 is 1. So 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1, 2, to 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, what do we get here? 8. So option A is the answer. The number of divisors find out children. First prime factorization, see, e formation of prime to the power of some value. 
So if I measure the area, the yani equals to p1 to the power of alpha 1 so on pk to the power of alpha k, where p1, p2, so on pk and all the prime numbers. Now see the third one. f of x is equal to sin 1 by x for x belongs to operand to 0, 1 is an example of, here we have four options, unbounded function, non-differentiable function, function with simple discontinuity, function which does not have limit at 0. So, you can have a function each other, trigonometric function sin 1 by x for x belongs to open interval 0, 1. Open interval 0, 1 means 0 less than x less than or equals to 1. Now, see the solution f of x is equal to sin 1 by x where x belongs to open interval 0, 1. From this, what do we write? x value is not equal to 0. And 1 by x is a differentiable function. And 1 by x is a differentiable function since 1 is a constant function. Every constant function is differentiable. x is a polynomial. Every polynomial is differentiable. Then 1 by x is also differentiable function. Now see here, sin is a trigonometric function. Every trigonometric function is differentiable. Composition of two differentiable function is again a differentiable function. So sin 1 by x is differentiable function. Because sin is differentiable. 1 by x is differentiable. What is sin of 1 by x is also differentiable function. So you can it. When I gave it out, non-differentiable function only. But here what we get? Can I mention is sin 1 by x is a differentiable function. So option B is incorrect. Now see here what is given? What of sin y less than or equals to 1? That means what is the range of sin here? Range of sin minus 1 to 1. So the value of sin r lies between minus 1 to 1. Here same for sin of 1 by x is also. The value of sin 1 by x lies between sin of 1 by x less than or equals 1. So, range of sin 1 by x function is minus 1 to 1. So, it is a bounded function. But what is given here? Option A is unbounded function. So, it is an incorrect one. Now, see here. Sin of 1 by x is a differentiable function. But what we know here? Every differentiable function is continuous. Every differentiable function is continuous. So, sin of 1 by x is also continuous. But what is given here? Function with simple discontinuity. And discontinuity is given. So, option C is incorrect. Since Every differentiable function is continuous, so sin of 1 by x is also continuous. Now see the option D. Function which does not have limit at 0. So limit exists if left hand side limit equals to right hand side limit. If left hand side limit equals to right hand side limit, and LH equals to RH general, prove just a limit exists and then prove just But observe here what is given open interval 0, 1. And take only right hand side values exist and RHL exist. LHL does not exist here since the open interval is given open interval 0, 1. So the values are lies between 0 to 1. So 0 to 1 modular values are not But 0 ki left hand side values are exist here. So LHL does not exist here. So function which does not have limit. So LHL not equal to RHL option D is correct one. So what is option D? Function does not have limit it is 0. In the but only RHL mathram exist of the LHL and the exist of the since here open interval is given. In next video, we will discuss some more important problems of HCU and CPJ entrance examination. Thank you.